I do have this this theory about prediction, which is that the uh, most entertaining outcome, as seen by a third party, not the participants, is the most likely. Um, so uh, that's that's really like it's not necessarily the best thing for those involved in it. Like you could be watching a World War One movie while people are getting blown to pieces while sipping a soda and, and eating popcorn. Um, not so great for those in the movie, but but it's enter- it, it is it is entertaining, um, which which does does suggest uh, there's um, things things again it's probably going to get hot in the, in the Pacific. Uh, so ho- hopefully not too hot. Um, but it's uh, it's things going to get hot. Um, and uh, ho- hopefully we, we can get <laughs> we can get past that and 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 get to a, a positive situation for uh, for the world uh, it, uh, in the spirit of, of, of aspirationally we're, we're all on team humanity. Um, but it's it's going to it's going to get spicy. Uh, and that and then uh, I mean basically if, if I were to say like the you know most concerning thing is is probably the Taiwan question over the next three years and then in the probably three years after that is is the I, like I would be surprised if we do, if, if we do, if there is not digital superintelligence in roughly the five or six year time frame that's uh, if, if this was a a Netflix series or something uh, I'd say the the, the the you know the 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 season finale would be a, a showdown w- w- between the the West, the West and China and the, the series finale will be <laughs> AGI. Yeah. Well, that's fast. I didn't I didn't think five years. I mean, that's uh, I didn't realize that you had a view that it's that that quickly. And bring, bringing it back a little bit to to AI, um, I guess t- two questions. One for people, even your harshest critics, Elon, uh, recognize that you've been one of the most successful entrepreneurs, technologists in, in in the world. And if you're if you're a young Elon Musk or an aspiring young person, and you're seeing the world of AI, or you're someone with blue collar family and you've got a kid, and 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 you're seeing AI and concerned about automation and what you should do, what would you say to them? I mean, what what would you say to someone young, fifteen, eighteen, twenty, uh, in the world that we're entering? Uh, either if they have a college degree or not having a college degree, that they should do uh, to prepare themselves for, for the future economically? Um, I, I, I can't think of anything like, it, it, I suppose that there's, there's, if someone is able to contribute to building AI in a positive way, if, if someone has that t- technical ability, that, that is probably the right thing to work on. Um, the for for your average citizen, I, I think it's it's going to be it's, the future is definitely going to be interesting. Um, um, like like I said, things get things get very very strange in a future where the AI can basically do everything. Um, and and in the benign scenario, I, I guess we will look for personal fulfillment in some way. Um, I think in, between now and then, I think it's just tr- trying to be useful. I mean, on, on the manufacturing front, I, I do think we should place a much uh, greater weight in the United States on the importance of manufacturing. Um, I think the things that are shifting back in that direction, um, you know, it generally when, when somebody asks me for uh, for advice, I, I, my advice is try to be try to be as useful as possible. It's actually quite hard to be useful, um, and if you can be of use to your fellow humans, then and and and, and Contribute more than you take, then I think that's that's a, that's a great thing. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for those who work hard and 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 do, you know, make goods and make goods, provide services uh, in, in excess of what they take. That is just a fundamentally good thing. Um, so, but but it, but it's 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 a, it's a hard question to answer with with, with certainty because it is it is so uncertain. Uh, the advent of AGI is often referred to as the singularity. A singularity is like a black hole. Um, you just don't know what what happens after that. You know, after you go go in go into the black hole, like we are on the on the event horizon. Um, the singularity of digital superintelligence. So definitely one of the most interesting parts of all of history. And I, I've actually thought, like, well, I wonder if you know maybe it would have been better to be have been born at a, at a different time. Uh, bef- and, and before artificial general intelligence, but then I thought, actually, you know what? <laughs> even even if it is, I, I, well, this is a, just a personal conclusion I came to is that I, actually I would prefer to be alive to see 
to see it just because it's the most interesting thing in, in history. So uh, even if it was um, a calamity, um, I, would, I, I, I guess I'd prefer to see it rather than not see it. And, and obviously, we want to do everything possible to make sure it is not a calamity. So, so I guess the, the, you know, the, the positive side of it is it, 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 it won't be boring. Um, <laughs> so it definitely won't be boring. Um, and, and, there's the, the, I, and I think if I were to assign probabilities, I think it is more likely to be a positive scenario than a bad scenario. Uh, it's just that the bad scenario is not 0%, and, and we want to do everything we can to minimize the probability of a bad outcome with AI. Um, but I, I should clarify that I, I think it's, I don't know, it's, maybe it's like 70, 80% likely to be a, a good future and maybe a great future even. Um, so, yeah, I, I think of the future as, as like probabilities. It's not, nothing's for sure. It's, it's, it's a, the future is a set of branching probability streams. W- would there be, Elon, like a signpost that we're nearing such a singularity, right? I mean, I think one of the reasons there was so much excitement over chat GPT is that, you know, ever going back to Alan Turing's papers on AI, we've had this idea that once a system passes the Turing test or the imitation game, that it would be said to be intelligent. And my understandings were basically there. Do you believe that test is a good marker for achieving AI or AGI? Do you believe there's some other sort of sort of thing we should be looking for? And I believe you had a debate over over consciousness when it comes to AI recently and would be eager to get your thoughts on that. Well, I think we're, we're well past the Turing test at this point. Uh, the in, in like the uh, I mean, Ch- Chat GPT is well well past the Turing test. Um, uh, the, you know, and, and re- really we're we're well, well on our way to, to digital superintelligence. Um, like the, like, if, if, I think it's five or six years away. Uh, and and I, where, where I'd say the definition of digital superintelligence is that it's smarter than any human at anything. Mm. Like so, that's you know. Um, and it's not necessarily smarter than the sum of all humans. That's that's a higher bar to be smarter than the sum of all humans. Um, and especially given that the, it's the sum of all humans that are machine augmented, in that we have we will have com- computers and phones and, and uh, software applications. So we're 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 we're, we're already we're we're already our, our de facto cyborgs. It's just, it's just that the the, the, the we, we're, you know the, the computer's not yet integrated with, with us. Like, but but the your one's phone is already an ex- extension of oneself. Like, if if you leave your phone behind, it feels like missing limb sy- syndrome. Like you're patting your pockets and like, where'd my phone go? Um, and um, but like, the, it's cr- it's crazy the degree to which the, our our sort of our phone, which is like like a basically a supercomputer in your pocket, uh, is an extension of yourself. So so there's a higher bar to be smarter than the sum of all. Um, Humans with that that are that are computer augmented, um, yeah. So, um, I mean, thinking about this whole thing stresses me out a lot. I, I've had many sleepless nights thinking about this. So, um, and trying to see, like, 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 figure out how how do we navigate to, this to to the best possible future uh, for humanity? Um, it's a super hard problem. It might end up being the hardest problem we've ever faced, and uh, de- definitely demands our attention. Um, and, and I, I think ultimately it's it, these these uh, the, the, the 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 nation state battles will will seem I think parochial uh, in, in ultimately compared to uh, digital superintelligence. You know, it's like if of the various risks that that we face, there are, there are ones that are like dangerous at an individual level, dangerous at a I don't know, sort of state level, but then there's like things that are da- dangerous at a civilizational level. Um, global thermonuclear warfare is obviously dangerous at a civilizational level. Um, some uh, super virus that that has uh, very high mortality rates would be dangerous. Um, I, I, I think it's crazy to do to do gain of function research. Like gain of function research is a nice way of saying death maximization. <laughs> like I don't know who came up with this gain of function model, BS. But it's <laughs> what's the function you're talking about? Oh, death. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that, I think that would they would be less likely to get funding. Um, so um, you know, uh, we we need to be very cautious about. It. We, we we really should not be doing that stuff. It's crazy. Um, so. Uh, and then, but but AI is also a civilizational risk, and 
but but also it's like the thing about AI is it's it's, it's I think <laughs> unlike gain of, gain of function is is uh, or, or global thermonuclear warfare <laughs> like AI is I think is really has the potential to be make the future amazing if it's done right. Um, okay. So yeah, we, we we definitely want to maximize the I think the we. Were, we want to maximize the happiness, the collective happiness of humanity, and um, and the freedom of action of uh, of humanity. And and um, like you, you you want you want to yeah, like you want to look 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 forward to the future and, and say yeah that's the future I want to be part of, um, and I'm excited about that future. Um, I think that that's actually incredibly important in general. I'm, I'm actually like concerned that this 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 um, somewhat of a you know in, in many parts of the world a pervasive pessimism about the future. And, and that's part of what's leading to a low birth rate in, um, in many parts of the world. Uh, and and I, I really uh, would advocate for optimism. And in fact, I think generally it's better to be optimistic and, and wrong than pessimistic and, and right for the, you know. Um, I, 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 would, I, I would hope we, we, we leave this space's discussion on, on, a, on a positive note that, that we should be optimistic about the future and, and, and we should actually just you know, fight to ensure that the future is a good future that, yeah, I mean, I, like, I, I really want the things, that, you know, that we see in the, in the, the positive sci-fi movies, like, you know, like the sort of Star Trek's has actually arguably a, like quite a positive sci-fi version of the future. Um, we want, I think we, like, we want that stuff to come true. We, we want Starfleet Academy. We, you know, we, we want to, you know, go where no one's gone before. Um, and, um, and explore the universe, and um, that, that's that, that's that's what that's what I think fires me up, and I think fires a lot of people up. Um, you know, it would just be incredible to go out there. I mean, I you know, you look up at the night sky and see all those stars, and, and I wonder like what, what's going on up there. You know, are, are there alien civilizations? Are there, is there life up there? Um, and hopefully, one day we find out. Seems like a good note to end on. All right. <laughs> yep. <laughs>